At the University of Glasgow, we believe that how research is done is as important as what is done. The university strongly encourages the adoption of open research practices across our full range of disciplines and our hiring and promotion criteria both reward a commitment to open research. Open research refers to the early and wide sharing of research at different stages of the life cycle, from methods and protocols to data, software and educational resources. Open research practices therefore comprise a broad spectrum of actions that go beyond open access to publications. Open research has many benefits, including improved visibility for your research, greater transparency and reproducibility in research, enhanced opportunities for collaboration, both locally and globally, more efficient use of research funding, an earlier opportunity to stake your claim to your ideas and improved public confidence in research. Open research practices include creating a data management plan for projects which will collect or create data, pre-registering your study methodology, specifying your research plan in advance of conducting your study, openly sharing your methods and protocols so other researchers can see exactly how you've conducted your research, sharing new research as preprint publications, giving others the opportunity to comment and provide early feedback, making published work open access, increasing the visibility and reuse of your results, sharing the data on which you base your research findings and the code or materials that you've used in your research, including data availability statements and outputs, ensuring a permanent link between your related research outputs, supporting open peer review and evaluation, making reviewer and author identities open, publishing review reports, and enabling greater participation in the peer review process sharing open educational resources, making your teaching and learning materials freely available online for anyone to use, sharing non-traditional outputs with the potential for societal impact, and adding author contribution statements to outputs to clarify the contributions from different authors. Open research practices apply to all research disciplines, if in different ways. In some cases, it might be necessary to limit open research. This might be the case, for example, where research has dual use, when it has implications for public health, or where it might include identifying personal information about a participant. The university will help to support open research by embedding identifiers such as ORCID and Scopus Author ID into our research output repositories so that credit can be traced back to the researcher, by embedding the contributor roles taxonomy or credit into our research output repository so that contributions to outputs are put on public record. By providing training and support for open access and research data management. By offering bibliometrics support. In signing the San Francisco Declaration on Research Assessment or DORA, the university has reinforced its commitment to the responsible use of research indicators when evaluating research. By providing training and advice on research integrity and research ethics, and by supporting funder policies which mandate or require open research practices. Open research has huge benefits for individuals, the institution and for society as a whole, by ensuring that as a community, we are better able to build on each other's work.